It's a place every kid dreams about. This new park is just about ready to welcome you and your kids. It's a project that's been a decade in making. Good evening, I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. The new Ice Age Floods Playground on North Bank will open tomorrow. Eleni Dow spent the day taking a tour, and Eleni, how's it looking out there? Oh my gosh, Nia and Aaron, I wish I had this place when I was a kid. There is so much to do here. As you can see behind me, there are three slides. There's another little swing over here. Families can spend hours here, and it's all just in time for summer. You getting dizzy? <laughs> yes. You can see how much 10-year-old Josie Connolly enjoys this new playground. This place blew her mind. I was like, I thought it was going to be really cool, but... um. Uh, now that I'm actually here, it's really cool. The North Bank is nearly 10 years in the making, $12 million. Yay! This is the last of five projects at Riverfront Park. We're just super excited. Um, and this really makes Riverfront a park now. I mean, everything you see behind me is, is free. It's really a destination. It's about getting together, um, active recreation, and, and also teamwork. The North Bank features a skate park, Let me see you move. a Hooptown USA basketball court with music, a splash pad, and all of this part of a story of Ice Age floods. Where the epicenter was at the very beginning and then how it word, worked through the entire landscape. The North Bank is also meant to teach kids, including commemorating a big mountaineer from Spokane, Jess Ross Kelly, who lost his life in an avalanche. Here, he has a boulder that kids can climb on. To really celebrate Jess's life and, and celebrate um, kids and adults alike wanting to start to climb and have that passion. Nearly 10 years ago, this place was nothing. And to see it come to life like this... Goosebumps. I mean, you dream it, you visualize it, but then to see people... This is why we have the best job in the world to give back to the citizens. Giving kids like Josie another way to enjoy the summer. All right, so let's not forget about that 35 foot tower with all of, the, of all of those three slides. You can see in here there's a climbing structure and when you walk up they have scavenger hunts. They also have a map at the top of the, uh, of the tower. And so again, those three slides, I went down one of them earlier today and just to warn you, if you are an adult trying to get down, you might want to bend your knees because there are a lot of curves and it's very fast. Uh, again, the park does open tomorrow at noon. I'm Eleni Dow with Fort News Now. Have fun out there, Eleni. Thank you. <laughs>